Hello guys and welcome back to the Thorncraft tutorial series with me Bashful Brit. I hope you guys are enjoying these series as much as I am. Um, I'm going to try and keep these series a little bit shorter now. We've gone over all the basic aspect things. If you're new to Thorncraft and you want to learn about the aspects, just jump to my previous videos. I know some of them are like 40 minutes long, but I cover absolutely everything you need to know to get started. Um, so, but if you do already know some Thorncraft and your aspects and stuff, skip all that crap and we'll just jump straight into the research part of it and go from there um, and you guys shouldn't have to read any more than that I'm going to try and keep these like 10-15 minutes now so hopefully they're a bit more watchable for you guys I'm going to jump straight into it with the dispenser of knowledge and let's see what we're going to be researching today so today we have metal purification purifies metals into native clusters that sounds interesting and we also have one foci form meets function i think one foci is the one that you guys are probably going to want to look at a bit more uh this is quite an easy hookup actually and there's your one foci easy does it and this one is also pretty easy I don't know why they seem to be giving you guys all the easy ones to start off with. Uh, we got that, we got that. And then we got that. Done. There you go, nice and easy, nice and quick. That's what we're going to be aiming for. So we get our one foci and we also have our metal purification. Now if we get our book here and we go into thaumaturgy and we will look at one foci. Do, do, do. Some careful experimentation has shown you a way to expand the abilities of even the most basic one by combining crystalline crystalline yeah crystalline vis shards with quartz crystals and infusing them with magic you are able to align the crystals in a mystical matrix. If the proper types and amounts of this is focused through this matrix, it will reshape the raw magical energies into something useful, controlled, and geared to a specific task. Adding a focus to your wand is a simple task. Simply pressing F while holding the wand and any foci you are c you a carrying, I'm sure that's meant to say are, any foci you are carrying will show up in the radial menu allowing you to choose from any of the ones you are carrying with a simple click. Your initial experiments involved the shaping of fire and result and the resulting focus proved to be simple but useful proved to be a simple but useful tool. It is capable of sending forth a cone of elemental fire burning all in its wake. Awesome. So this is gonna be a one focus of fire. This is going to be made in an arcane workbench and we're going to be using these fire shards that we've been picking up from these infused stones. And also with that you are going to be needing some quartz. A bit of nether quartz so you're going to have to venture into the nether for this one or get yourself into magical crops or just any way really of obtaining uh, nether quartz. Don't don't obtain it this way because this way is cheating. I'm doing it purely for um, research purposes. And we are also going to need a fire charge in the middle. These are pretty simple to make. Um, all you need for yourself is blaze powder, gunpowder and coal. So you're going to have to go into the nether to get your quartz anyway and you're going to have to go in the nether to get your blaze uh, to get the blaze rods to make your blaze powder so regardless you're going to be going into the nether for this one um, it is worth it once you get into the wands and stuff it's definitely worth it so once again educational purposes do not copy me 
Uh, so for this one, you're just going to put your fire charge in the middle. You only need one of them. And then we need to surround in the corners with your fire shards. And then just in between them slots, we're going to put in our nether quartz. And you see here it will flash with 20 ignis and 10 pedicio. We should have all of that on our wand. And we do. And if you see here, we now have a 95% this, this cost discount. This is because we're using the golden caps that we got in a video prior to this. It makes it a little bit cheaper as opposed to the 105% that we were paying. So awesome, there we go, we now have that. If we hold, if we have our wand selected on the hotbar and we hold F, is it, or I. I changed the binding to I because it was interfering with other things. You don't actually have to click it as well, you just have to hover over it. So there we go. We now have our one focus equipped. And just in the nick of time. This will draw this from it as we use it. If you hover, if you hold shift and I, by the way, you can remove it. Um, but it will use 0.1 ignis per tick. And look, we got ourselves some gunpowder. Woohoo. That can be used towards making your rods uh, making your fire chargers so that's all that is awesome that is your very first one foci these are very useful they get very very dangerous and very fun to use in the future so you've got that to look forward to and the next one we're going to be jumping into is no longer in my inventory hmm I may have accidentally chucked that away. So we're going to jump into here quickly. Oh no. Did we... Did we do it? Okay, apparently... Just... Oh no, we did do it, didn't we? Right, I was about to go do the research hex puzzle for it and I completely forgot that we did it, so I apologise for that. I'm very stupid. Right, so metal purification. Native clusters are rare concentrations of metals in its purest form. You've discovered a way to purify and concentrate normal iron ore into native iron cluster. When smelted, these clusters produce twice the normal amount of iron ingots. Right, so basically, this is the Thorncraft solution to... I've still got stuff in it. Uh, this is basically the Thorncraft solution to doubling your ores. So if you take your ores and you take your iron ore... Um, let's see if we can get one on the go here. Let's grab ourselves some water. Pop that in there like that. I don't know how you're still bubbling. I took away anything you had. There you go. Shift right click that one. Get rid of it. Right. So we're going to see if we can get into this. Um, let's have a look. What do we need for it? We need metallum and auto. So if we grab, jump into our ores, we're going to try and do iron. I think you need to research each one. Uh, this is only going to work with iron in the beginning. I haven't actually scanned this yet, so we're going to plop you down like that. And we're going to get a thing, and we're going to scan it. There we go. So we get three metallum out of that one. And we need one metallum and one auto to be able to do this. Um... Why am I not scan nuggets either? Alright, that's got four metallum in it, so we can drop one of them in there. And because I don't care about the access, just find something with better auto in it than this. Don't copy me because. Whoops, I went a bit too high. Screw it, we're going to do eight. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. There you go. Now we now have eight 
native iron clusters and if we grab ourselves a furnace you will see that this will smelt down into two lots of ingots hopefully so we'll put that in there and we're going to pop that in there so one cluster should give us two ingots this is basically thorncraft's way of there you go, two ingots, woohoo! Making that's basically if you don't have pulverizers and stuff and you're playing with just Thorncraft, this is a great way to go about it. Um But if you're using pulverizers, it's definitely gonna be the better way to go. But if you wanna go pure magic, this is the way you wanna be going because it's just awesome. And yeah, if you wanna go the pure magic way, go this. This is the way to be doing that. Um, but that shall be it for this episode, I'm afraid, guys. And um, we're gonna be—we can see we're branching off into sort of gold and that in the next couple of episodes. Uh, we also get into all these nice focuses at some point. Um, there's one thing that I need to mention as well: is you will get there are some research that will require aspects purely out of your um aspect bank or your research bank so all our research points here it will draw directly from that to be able to unlock that so we're one gallon short on that so if we make one of them quickly there you go and it will see you see the three aspects there it will tell you the quantity of research points you need and you click and now we have it. There's no research note. There's no hex puzzles. We just have that. So we now have frost as well. Um, but I'm not going to cover that in this episode. Um, I need eight of them. There we go. Now I have eight of them. We can click and get that one as well. So we've got shock and frost focuses. And I'm going to unlock these two when we unlock these two i'll cover all the focuses together we'll make all of them or we'll make we'll probably make two in one episode play with them make two in another episode play with them again uh, but that is going to be it for this episode so today we have covered metal pure iron purification and the fire foci I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if not, I shall see you in the next Thorncraft tutorial series. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you later.